What's up guys and welcome to another deck concept. Today we're looking at the Predator Shadal Fosis deck concept. So we already done Metaphosis Shadals before, but now we're going to add Predator plants to the mix because it works really well with both Metaphosis and Shadals. So let's get right into it. For the probably not last time, we have the Metaphosis or Metaphos, we have Metaphosis Volflame, Gold River, Silver Bird, Steel Wren, Rarebus Magia, and we have Metaphosis Fusion, Full Metaphosis Fusion, Metaphosis Combination, Metaphosis Counter, and we're running all the Metaphosis Fusion monsters except for the level 9 because that requires like 3 materials so that's kinda hefty in my opinion. And once again for probably not the last time we have the Shadals, we have Shadal Beast, Dragon, Squamata, Hedgehog, Falco, Shadal Fusion, El Shadal Fusion Quick Play, El Shadal Shikanaga, El Shadal Grista, and El Shadal Window. For the new Predator Plant monsters, we have the Predator Plant Skarkinet, level 1. If this card is in your hand while your opponent declares a direct attack, you can special summon this card from your hand. After damage calculation, you can destroy the opposing monster, and as well as if this card is destroyed by battle or sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you get to add one Predator Plant card from your deck to your hand except for itself, and you can only activate this effect once per turn. Predator Plant Sundew. If a monster on the field has a Predator counter and used as fusion material, treat it as a dark monster. During your main phase, you can fusion summon using this card and monsters from your hand or side field or monsters your opponent controls with Predator counters as fusion material for a dark fusion monster. You can only use this effect once per turn. Predator Plant Spinal, level 4, 18 attack points. If this card is normal or special summon, you get to place one Predator counter on one face up monster your opponent controls. Monsters with Predator counters with level 2 or higher gets their levels reduced to 1 as well as it doesn't really work on exceeds because they have ranks not levels of course. And if this card battles a monster with a level less than or equal to this card then you get to spot summon one Predator plant monster from your deck except for himself. Predator Plant Hydra, level 5. If this card's in your hand or graveyard you can spot summon from hand or graveyard by treating one monster on the field with a Predator counter on them. So basically this card's almost like a Kaiju except a bit more complicated. As well as if this card's on the field or graveyard during either play's turn, you can banish another Predator Plant monster from your graveyard to decrease the attack points of one monster on the field by 500 points permanently. Predator Plant Squid, level 2. If this card's in your hand, you can discard it from your hand to target one face-up monster you control. It can attack all monsters your opponent controls with Predator counters on them. As well as if this face-up card leaves the field, you get to place one Predator counter on every single special summon monster your opponent controls. So that's pretty key because this effect doesn't target unlike Spinal, so you can get rid of like stuff that can't be targeted like a, I don't know, a Chaos Max Dragon, distribute it with Hydra, or fuse it with Sundu. So this card's pretty key for those aspects. Predator Plant Planter, Continuous Spell Card. Once per turn during your Samba phase, pay 800 life points or destroy this card. Once per turn, you can spot someone one Predator Plant Monster with a level 4 or lower from your hand or graveyard and then spot summon it, but its effects are negated. Predator Graft, so this card is a equipped spell card. You can spot summon one Predator Plant monster from your graveyard, equip it with this card, and if this card leaves the field, destroy that equipped monster. Predator Plant Chimera of Aphasia, level 7 Dark, requires a Predator Plant monster plus a Dark monster as its fusion materials. 2500 attack points, 2000 defense points. Once per turn, you can target one monster on the field with a level less than or equal to this card's level, banish it, so basically level 7 or lower monsters. You cannot banish exceed monsters with this card's effect, of course. As well as if this card is in a battle against any monster, you can decrease the monster's attack points by 1000, and this card gains 1000 attack points, so basically a difference of 2000. So this card is basically a 4500 attacker, technically. As well as these changes last until the end phase, of course. And if this card's in your graveyard and sent to the graveyard, during the next standby phase, you get to add a fusion spell card from your deck to your hand or a polymerization. You can activate this effect once per turn. So that's a really deadly effect because, you know, there's a lot of good fusion spell cards. I mean, people keep abusing Synchro Fusionist, but now Chimera um, Rophasia here has that effect. Some additional support we have, of course, Lone Fire Blossom. Pretty self-explanatory in a Predator Plant deck because it's plants, right? This card can bring out every single Predator Plant monster in your deck, as well as it's a fire monster, meaning we can use it with 
circle of the fire kings because we're running metaphosis and getting metaphosis monsters is pretty easy and they're all fire monsters which means we can trade it in for a lone fire blossom as well as during the late game you can trade it in for like a bigger monster like el shadal grista or some metaphosis fusion monsters that were killed so that's really powerful and you can use it during the battle phase so you can end games with it as well glow bulb tuner monster spore same thing fragment storm i really like this card because of the Predator Plant uh, Sarcanant, because if you destroy it, you get the search, and you get the draw from Fragrant Storm, as well as if you drew a plant monster, you get to draw an additional card. Probably not necessary for deck, but it's it's pretty nice. Foolish Burial for like the meleeing and whatnot. Twin Twister, back row. Regeki, Sackage. This deck actually starts off pretty slowly, but it can accumulate advantage pretty easily. So you have Metaphos Steel Ren, let's say in the Pendulum Zone, Normal Summon the Predator Plant Sarcanant, then activate Steel Ren's effect, destroying the Sarcanet to set a Metaphosis counter. Then you'll activate the Sarcanet's effect to search out a uh, Predator Plant Planter, continuous spell card activated, then re special summon the Sarcanet. Of course, Sarcanet's effect is once per turn, so you can't search multiple times, otherwise, that would be broken. But then next turn, your opponent kills it, and then you get the search, and then you get the counter activation as well, assuming nothing horrible happens, right? We normal summon the Predator Plant Sundew, and we have Shadal Beast in her hand, let's say. We activate the Sundew's effect, we can fusion summon it into a dark fusion monster. We have two options. We can go into uh, Predator Plant Chimera Rafflesia, or we can go into El Shadal Winda. Both are dark fusion monsters and both meet the requirements. Shadal Winda requires a dark, which Predator Plant Sundew will be the dark, and Shadal Beast will be the Shadal monster, and Predator Plant will be Predator Plant Sundew, and Shadal Beast will be the dark monster. So that's kind of reversed. So you can go into either fusion, but usually you want to go into Predator Plant Chimera Rafflesia because if it's in the graveyard during your standby phase or your opponent's standby phase, whatever standby phase comes next, we can add a Shadal Fusion, and if your opponent has an extra deck some monster, then shenanigans will happen with the Shadal Fusion, right? Synergy, so here's my attempt at putting the decks together. Assuming your opponent has an extra deck summon monster, we activate Shadal Fusion. Sending a Lone Fire and a Hedgehog from our deck to the graveyard, we fusion summon into El Shadal Grista. Then we'll activate Hedgehog's effect, searching out the Squamata from our deck to our hand, and then we'll um, normal summon Rare Basmagia Metaphosis, destroying it with the Circle of the Fire Kings to special summon a Lone Fire Blossom that we just fusion summoned from our graveyard to our side field. And Rare Basmagia's effect will activate during the end phase, searching out a Metaphosis monster as well. We'll activate the Lone Fire's effect, tributing itself to special summon a Predator Plant Sundew from our deck. We'll activate Sundew's effect, fusion using the uh, Squamata from our hand and itself to fusion summon into an El Shadal Winda. You could have went for Chimera Rafflesia as well if you wanted to, but Winda plus Gresta seems like a more lockdown kind of perspective, I guess. And then Squamata's effect will activate. Let's say we meld a Shadal Falco and we'll spell summon him face down defense mode. So this is what the Predator Shadal Focus deck looks like. I know it's 60 cards, don't judge me, but it's a lot of fun and it does work because of the Lone Fire bridging the gap between Metaphosis and Predator Plant, and Predator Plant working well with the Shadal monsters because of the dark fusion of Sh El Shadal Windham mainly, as well as Rafflesia can search out Shadal Fusion which is pretty dang awesome. And we can also use Lone Fire into Glow Up, Up and Spore to make, you know, Starter's Charge Warrior, Pendulum Summon Level 4, Gold Rivers, let's say, into Nirvana High Paladin randomly, so that's pretty cool as well. We also can make Big Eye because El Shadal Gris is level 7, Full Flame, the Pendulum Monster of Metaphosis, level 7, as well as Rafflesia is also level 7, which can be brought back with the uh, Predator Plant uh, Graft um, Printing Trip Burial Equip card, so that's really nice. But yeah, anyways, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys later.